Hello there. This is Opa Rancisis, and today we are continuing through the Star Wars character encyclopedia. This is part three. I will leave a link to the playlist with the other two parts so that you can check them out. Here we look at minor characters from the Star Wars universe, and so Luke Skywalker or Kylo Ren will be missed. But today I want to have a special look onto the Clone Troopers. I know that some of you love the Clone Wars show, however, uh, I will be excluding the clones from the Clone Wars show and I will do a separate video about them. Here are only Clone Troopers from the movies. Enjoy! Starting off with Commander Bakara. Apparently, Commander Bakara was the clone trooper who assisted Master Kiadi Mundi in the battle of the snowy planet Mijito. He did, however, receive Order 66, and as we saw in that scene, he shot the Master to death. There's not much more we know about him, uh, although one piece of information is that he was trained by strong Mandalorian warriors from Concord Dawn, so that explains why he is such a loner. Clone Commander Bly served Jedi General Ayla Sekura on several missions during the Clone Wars and uh, was eventually the one who shot her when Order 66 was given. The last mission in which the Clone Commander assisted the Jedi General was on Felucia, the exotic planet, where they were hunting down the Separatist leader Shumai. That is according to this character encyclopedia, but it doesn't make much sense. On Utapo, when Grievous was talking to the Separatists uh, to leave to Mustafar, Shumai was among them. So how do they not know that, they, that the Separatists are in Mustafar? I mean, Obi-Wan listened to the whole conversation and then he told it to the whole Jedi Order about uh, everything that General Grievous was destroyed. So how do they expect Shumai to be on the planet? But that's just a little nitpick. Overall, that's all. Clone Commander Cody was the clone trooper who assisted Obi-Wan Kenobi on many missions. The one that was most important was the Battle of Utapo, where the clone trooper had some very good conversations with the Jedi and even gave him back his lost lightsaber which he found. However, when Obi-Wan went away, he received Order 66 and the chip in his head has been activated. So he simply forgot everything he did for the Jedi and shot him down. However, Obi-Wan did survive and Cody was searching for uh, him everywhere. However, the body was not found as Obi-Wan continued living. Commander Gree was a commander with a very cool green looking design. Well, for me at least, I really love it. He assisted Yoda on Kashyyyk when the Wookiees were attacked by the Confederacy of Independent Systems, otherwise known as the Separatist Alliance. Commander Kree was assisting Yoda and the Wookiees in fighting off the occupation. He remained with the Jedi Master for the rest of the battle. However, when Order 66 was given, he uh, slowly with another scout trooper walked behind Yoda and wanted to shoot him. However, Yoda sensed their presence and simply used his lightsaber to cut off Commander Gree's helmet. Just a very cool reference uh, in Star Wars Rebels, in, uh, in 
Commander Throne's office, we see Gree's helmet as one of the artifacts. You can see it in the episodes where Throne's office is shown. There is Commander Gree's helmet. I don't know if the head is in sight, but probably not. Commander Neo was the clone commander that assisted Stas Ali. Stas Ali was a Jedi who was also the cousin of the famous Jedi Master Adigalia. We see very little of Commander Neo in the actual films and even in the Clone Wars I think we don't see him at all, but he was assisting the Jedi on the planet Seleucami. However, when Order 66 was given, he cr destroyed the Stas Ali on her speeder. Yeah, that's basically it. And he has a very good mouth design. It's very cool for me. And to finish off, I just wanted to talk about the clone trooper armor. The first clone trooper armor, otherwise known as Phase 1, was the first clone trooper armor. It was okay, however, it wasn't as strong as the updated version clone trooper armor phase 2. It was also more comfortable in the second phase for the troopers and they were far more equipped with weapons and uh, the armor actually protected them much more. However, it was still quite useless. Also, I just wanted to mention that clone troopers should not be mistaken for stormtroopers. Clone troopers were created genetically by the Kaminoans on the order of Count Dooku and Palpatine. They fought for the Galactic Republic and the Empire, however, when it came to it, Palpatine decided that clone troopers were basically, he didn't need them, so they were replaced by stormtroopers. Stormtroopers were just volunteers who were trained in imperial academies to become the warriors. They just wore similar armor, but they were not genetically made. They were just simple volunteers who wanted to fight for the Empire. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. That would really help. Also, share this video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell to stay up to date with all my juicy content. And also follow me on Facebook. Thank you. And may the force be with you. Until part 4 guys. Until part 4.